Hi, Tony Kishawa here again, and I'm going live again from the video booth at the Gympie Turf Club. It's the Roy Groom uh, 100 Club race day. Now, the reason why I'd like to go live on my Digital Champion uh, Facebook group is that I've got a setup here that I, I guess I've spent a bit of time trying to work out how best to capture the event of the, the race day. Now, of course, I'm, I'm employed here to record the race. In other words, uh, the stewards downstairs need to have a copy of the race, the start, the, the, the race across the back, and then, of course, across the finish line, just in case there's a, um, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a claim that somebody did something wrong in the horse, like, you know, uh, got the whip and <laughs> hit the other horse in the face. I don't, I'm not too sure what, or what happens on the, um, with the jockeys. But the stewards must have a record of the race. So that was the first step, just fulfilling that need. And then, of course, we went to uh, suggesting that if we're videoing it, we might as well make it available to the rest of the people that are here, enjoying the day, and also, of course, reaching a wider network of people on Facebook. Or should I say, they are able to get to see what's going on using Facebook. <laughs> okay, so um, the camera. So I'd just like to see if I can get a good shot of the camera. I'll turn the camera around. So here it is here. It's a Sony, I've forgotten the name of the camera. It's a Sony, oh, sorry, an XA20. Uh, and it's designed to, uh, to be an interviewing camera. It's actually got the capability of being able to stream or upload your video that you've just taken up to the internet so that you could send it back to the studio. I guess that's the, the intent of that. Up here I've got um, audio in, which is fantastic for, uh, you know, if you've got radio mics or just wired mark mics that go directly to the camera. If you are videoing a concert, you can take a lead from the sound desk. It's, um, it's very handy. Over here, on this side, of course, we've got all the, uh, the plugs that we need. There's the HDMI cables going in and out. I don't know whether you need to see all that, but down here, I have, oh, there's the mic. Um, I took the mic off the camera because the camera chases the horses and it would point the microphone away from where the crowd and the race caller is calling from. So I pointed this microphone at the loud hailers. I don't know if you can see it over there, but there's actually a, um, a microphone, oh, sorry, a speaker that announces the race call to the audience. Here we have a HDMI splitter. So what happens is that I have to split the signal, one to go to my uh, Facebook, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a Teradec video. It's a unit that sends the signal to Facebook. And then I have another one way down here. This is actually a splitter that actually sends or turns the HDMI cable into RCA plugs, which is analog which goes all the way downstairs so the stewards can see and record with their equipment down there. Now, here's the one thing I'd like to show you, is that this is the Teradec video. So this logs into uh, Facebook and uh, the, the aerial sticking out here is actually a USB hub that's connecting to the mobile network. So, I know this all sounds very technical, <laughs> but um, you can actually log into this device using your smartphone. It's got a little app that connects to it. It sends out its own uh, wireless signal, and therefore you can interact with it, uh, put in descriptions, connect to a particular page that you want to broadcast to, etc. You can also send it to YouTube and other um, live streaming platforms. Today I'm using Facebook. Okay, so that's the setup there. Um, I ha also have one little extra job to do. If you can see here in this little trapdoor, we got two SD cards, which is kind of handy because I'm recording one onto one, and then the stewards like to take away a copy of the races of the day. So um, what I have to do is copy the races that I need to keep because I create DVDs for anyone who wants to buy a copy of the, of the races on the day and also have to supply the stewards with a copy on the SD drive so that they can take it away for their permanent records. So there we have it. That's my rundown of my setup here 
And of course, this can be used for any seminar. I'm limited to one camera at the moment. I'll just, I mean, I've turned it around again so you can see me. So here we have a very cloudy day out there at the moment. Uh, it might have storm for the last race. So uh, I'll turn the camera around here. It's a better lighting. So um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, what I was talking about only having one camera is that if you are doing a seminar and you wanted to have one camera shooting the speaker and then maybe you'd like to shoot, shoot another camera to point at the audience or at least see what the audience reaction is during your presentation. It's easy to set up a two camera live shoot with some software. One is called OBS and Open Broadcast System. It's a free um, software and also another one just suitable for the Mac, which is called Ecamm. And that's about, I think, $30, $37 and you buy it and you can use it. There's no ongoing charges, just your relationship with the social media platforms that you <laughs> are uh, signed up to. So I can do another video on those platforms if you like. I also like to maybe talk about, you know, why you should go live at seminars. Um, of course, the obvious thing is reach and why you should go live leading up to your main events, your seminars. So hope you get, keep coming back to my Digital Champion Facebook group. And if you like this video, if you want to see more, join the group and also uh, share with people who you might think might find this valuable. Okay, thank you very much. Tony Kashawi signing off.